Hi guys. Uh, excuse for the wind. It's really uh, windy back here. So it's been a while since they do any update on the koi pond. So here it is. Here's my koi pond. Over oh, there's my greenhouse. I'll do a, uh, a uh, separate recording for the, the greenhouse, but let's look at the pond, okay? Here are my koi, happy and all the way hungry. I mean, all the way hungry. They actually would chase you down. I just, I, I just fed them, so they don't feel like they need to eat no more. But, um, here are my skimmer, one skimmer, two skimmer. And the water is crystal clear. You can see all the way down to the bottom of the pond. It's, really, it's about five feet deep. I lost a lot of koi uh, last winter due to the severe uh, snowstorms. It got down to like negative 16. Um, so it was really rough. Um, I lost most of the big koi, like the arm length one. Uh, all the small koi they survived, of course, but all the big ones died. Uh, let's do a walk, a walk around the koi pond. Here are my falls. Uh, two, so I have about five total. Two on each side of the small one, and then one big one. This is the back. This is uh, looking back at the koi pond. It's very dirty in my backyard right now. I'm still working on um, a few a few things, so it's <laughs> dirty, but it's okay. My wife will playing all the time. So, so look at the back, okay? Here's the filtration system. This whole thing that you're seeing right here is a filtration system. So that's why I can stock so much koi in a small pond because uh, the filtration system is a really big filtration system, so it'll do a lot of work. Uh, that's why you see the water uh, so clear and the koi, and you can see them swimming around. Uh, they are happy. So, <laughs> this is my aquaponic system using the koi pond water. So, I have two skimmers and I have one sub pump. The skimmers will run to one side will run to here and one side will run to here and then it's split into two uh, uh, two inch um, two inch pipe go down to here and another two inch pipe will go to here and then it will have, this here is all the way down to all is all the way down right here so it forced the, the water to flow all the way down and then it will have to rise up. So when it rises up though, the caps will actually hold back all the fish waste if there is any, because this is from the skimmer. And this is the same thing too. It run here, and the reason I do this is because it's, when it's pushed in, it's sucked in the air, and then actually, if, you, if I push down, you can see the air bubble. See that? That's air bubble from this here. And it's really cool. And the same thing from here, you know, push in here and suck in the air from here and mix with the uh, water to buy um, oxygen for the pond. And then it split to here and here you can see that's where I produce a lot of um, oxygen here too. So the reason I make this map because it suck in the air and it mix in and then that's how it is. I got two 13 watts of UV, UV light, so 213 watts, and that's all I'm using, 213 watts. And my, my pond is, um, gets sunlight all day, yeah, so uh, without this and without the filtration system, man, it'll be as green, uh, the water will be as green as, as, as it can get, but with the filtration system, it's crystal clear. And then I have a third pump, is all the way down uh, to the, at the lowest point of the pond, what it does, it pump to here. See there's a hose here? It pump all the way to here. Let me check this out, okay? So here is my sift filter. And it's really simple to make this. I know um, 
screw whatsoever, nothing at all. Just get a sift filter. Uh, this is um, pipe. I think three four pipe, three four inch pipe cut in half, and you have your own clipper. So it's all clipped into it. So when it runs, this this water is actually from the, the bottom of the pond. It run here, go through the sift, and it suck out all you know, it filter out all uh, the uh, dirt and the fish poop and the fish waste. And then once in a while, I'll take this, I scoop it out, and then I put into my I put it um, to uh, my plants. So two for one thing. From here though, it's split into um, three inch, um, three valve here, um, three pipe here, and three pipes here. It's also have a pipe here too. So this pipe, whenever there's a lot of this, um, you know, waste, it will go down here. It will fall into here. This weir here, and then this will run all the way to that tank right there. And that tank uses the same uh, method. That big old six inch um, um, pipe right there run all the way down to the tank. And then you have caps there, so it has to float, it has to rise up and hold back the waste and then it run back into the pond. So with this way, I don't have to clean the facilitator quite often. Maybe once in a while because all it, it, it filter by itself for you. So then I'll, I'll show you. So I'll do that so to block the the, uh, the sun. So then one one of the three pipes from here go down to there. Over there I used to have uh, gravels, but I decided just to leave it like that. So if I do want to have you know if I have small koi, I can put it there to raise them by by themselves. Uh, I do have a lot of small koi too. And then all this and then this um, pipe here, this two pipe here actually three pipes it will these two pipes will lead into my aquaponic system so all these are gravels that's an example here and then from then it's the pipe here and the water flow here then it run back into the pond so everything run back into the pond this two pumps here will go into the big fall and then if you see, remember there's a two small uh, fall on each side and that will, this all here will run back into that fall. So see that? So everything will run through the system and like I said, from the, from the sift filter, all the waste will run to here and then it will collect all the fish waste here once in the wild. I turn the valve and then I, I connect the pipes to here and then I, this is all the fish waste uh, water. That's where I, I, you know, I use it to um, feed my, uh, my plant. So nothing will go to waste here. So all of this will lead back into the waterfall. The waterfall is right here. This are the two small ones. So that is a small walkthrough of my coin pond. Um, it's been a while since I posted anything, so sorry guys, it's been really uh, busy. Because I was busy doing this, this is my greenhouse. And inside, it have all the uh, tropical plants you, that I grow. And then it also have all this tank here where I used to raise my small koi. So here are my small koi. So that will be a uh, different uh, uh, re recording, and then I'll post it up. But here's the overview of my koi pond. Let me turn it around. And this is what I look from uh, inside my house, and when I look out, this is what I see. So if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you guys.